Uh, high school, I think, is one of the first places in most kids' life where you're, you're tested to, to show your true colors. My name is Bo Merrill, and I'm from Leewood, Kansas. Especially in high school, things happen where it really tests you. My freshman year, like, pretty much all my friends joined the party scene. So I was kind of in a demoralized state, if you will, because I was like, man, all my friends are going off doing that. Who are my friends now? And if you want to make a difference, you can. But if you don't, you don't have to. You can just lay low. Bo was a quiet, he is a quiet kid. And early on in high school, his Friday nights, weekends were spent at home with his parents, which I struggled with because I thought, you know, I wonder why you're not going out and don't you want to go and isn't there something to do? And it wasn't until his senior year that he just kind of bursted into a role at school that I would never ever have guessed him capable of. My senior year I was kind of fed up with it. I was like, you know, I'm going to fight back against this whole plague of the party scene and decided to throw a punch and Bo came up with an idea. The clean team. 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 Yeah, the clean team happened, you know, it just... Bo evidently came home from camp with an idea. After going to camp for so many years and seeing the fun, he just wanted to organize that and bring that and show that to kids who'd never been to camp. I wanted to use Canacock and take it back to kids that don't get to come to Canacock. Canacock's wild, lots of energy, crazy loud. <laughs> Well, that's what Clean Team was. Everything the Clean Team does is something that Bo has experienced at camp. He's just brought it out here. When my brother thought of Clean Team, that's exactly what he was thinking. He was thinking, you know, we can take these camp events and these camp parties that we do, take them back home, make them work, and, you know, it caught on. The first event we did was wiffle ball. I think we had around 40 kids show up. We just had a big wiffle ball game. And it was Super fun. So, and it really just then kind of continued to grow and get a lot of popularity. When we started averaging like around 85 to 90 kids coming every week. It was a lot bigger than we thought it would be. The events are all different things. We had parties. Movie night. Capture the flag. The rollerblading. The war ball. Basketball. And then there is an indoor gymnastics place that they are have access to. And we had like 210 people come to that. Here we are at Bum City. Welcome to Clean Team. such a phenomenon that it gained some attention in the press and from the high school. I have never been involved with a group in all my years in school administration where students have basically stepped up and they've said uh, we want to control our environment, we don't want to be put in situations where drugs and alcohol may be there. I think that the secret of its success was that it was student-led. Parents are invited. It's totally kid-run. They also give students the option to attend or not attend. But it seemed like they were inviting everybody. There was no requirement. It was come one, come all. And you can come alone or you can come with your buddies, but we're just about having a good time. What I've seen different as a result of the clean team is I've seen instead of those just groups, you got the gothic kids and the jock kids and the, and the rock kids and whatever. What I've seen is the clean team brings them all together. And even though it, it's not overtly preaching the gospel or Christian oriented, it was all created and led by Christian guys. It's really tempting for Christian kids to hang out with Christian kids and just sort of uh, be a little club unto themselves. And uh, When Jesus walked on the earth, he sort of broke that club up and, and he said, follow my example and go out and love people, love tax collectors, and love sinners, and make my way of doing things your way of doing things, which is to love other people like you love yourself. And I, I love the clean team primarily because the kids have decided to go out and love their neighbors. I'm just thrilled that this neck of the woods, there is kids that are willing to walk out of faith in a very, very real, genuine way that is appealing and inviting to other classmates. But it amazed me because it would start with Brother Bo, who's a very quiet young man, more introverted than some of my other children. Yeah, it really is a miracle because God 
use the kid like me who wasn't the popular kid. I didn't have that influence yet. God gave it to me somehow, some way. So, yeah, if God can use me, I guess, and of course people hear that, but really, I guess he, he, he can use anyone. <laughs>